Hi guys. Let me check if the live stream is live. If the stream is really live. You know. Long time, no streams, no AMAS, no AMS, so I'm happy to be back. First, we will have some introduction. I prepared a short presentation of our achievements, of our future developments to you. It will take just like 15 minutes or something. And then we will go to open questions from the chat. I guess we will take the chat on YouTube. It's the most convenient one. Oh, it's live. Uh, Anya, I think you should press, you have to press the start button. Wow. I'm sorry it was live all this time, I think, right? Okay, guys, there's the only opportunity. You have to print plus in the comments. <laughs> then I will understand that you hear me. Well, anyway, I see myself, so I guess it means, I guess it means that we are live. Let's go. So, uh, this live stream is called Puzzle Map, because actually this week, earlier this week, we made a very important update for ourselves internally. We drew the, the whole map of our puzzle network, like the map, which products do we have, which features do we have, and how do they benefit investors. And I want to show it to you, uh, just for you to realize how big our network is already. Uh, for this, I will shortly uh, switch the scene. Yeah, here it is. And here is the map. Mm, and I love it so much because Puzzle Network currently includes three different projects: uh, Puzzle Swap, Puzzle Land, and Puzzle Market. Um, the first one was Puzzle Swap, and it already has two important and independent services aggregator for traders and mega pools for investors uh, let me let me briefly cover it uh, aggregator is like a huge huge milestone for the basic system in general it was launched more than a year ago and it's very profitable for traders and uh, the blue stickers are by the way how they benefit you how they benefit puzzle holders aggregator does buyback uh, with every transaction Every fee goes to puzzle buyback and is spread to Eagles and Anya stakers. That's special NFT is also called ultra staking, alter staking. Also, we have mega pools. Uh, that's another service, completely independent actually, and that's kind of innovation in the whole uh, DeFi sphere. Mega pools are the thing where you can put up to ten tokens in a pool and start earning fees from the trades. Uh, this thing is very important for puzzle token because it burns puzzles. When you create a pool, you basically burn some puzzle tokens. And also all the fees are split between pool owner, pool liquidity providers and puzzle stakers. 40% uh, of each commission is used to buy back puzzle and send it to puzzle staking rewards. So another buyback. Then goes the puzzle market, and that's probably like the easiest thing on puzzle network. Um, it's an uh, open sea like marketplace where anyone can permissionless mint an NFT collection. 
it can be artworks, it can, it can be game NFTs, anything. We even have a SDK for developers, so if you are a game developer, for example, you can issue an NFT collection with one line of code. And again, there are fees, and these fees go to buy back puzzle token, which is distributed between dragons. These are special NFTs uh, who also uh, participate in governance. They can verify collections, in the future they can ban collections, it's a very convenient way to govern the entire marketplace. Last but not least, and this service is probably the most uh, feed generating one, is Puzzle Land. That's a lending protocol, the, the service where you can supply some assets and borrow in others. For example, you can supply Waves token and borrow USDT for it. And there is a commission, it's not direct commission, but uh, there are some payments to reserve fund and this reserve fund is 100% used to buy back puzzle from the market and these puzzles are not distributed to anyone, they are stored. And in the last month we bought back 2000 puzzles and in general there are already more than 6000 puzzles bought. A huge, huge numbers. So this is the puzzle map, uh, the picture of where we are right now. And it's very important because we are building for more than a year already, like for more than a year and a half. And it's important to see some progress. Here it is. And after we drew this puzzle map, I felt very proud of what we achieved. Yo, I see your comments. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let me also check if everything is all right in Telegram and we will move forward. Cheers. Oh, everything looks good. New link. Well, anyway, guys, you will be able to watch from the beginning. <laughs> I think so. I hope now everyone is live. I see you in Telegram as well. Uh, print your messages. I will answer them after the next part of the session. I will show you um, a PDF presentation of what we achieved since the last AMA. Because the last AMA was like five months ago or something. It's a long time and I'm sorry it took a so long time to uh, go live again. But it was a hard time for everyone, especially on waves. So, but we never stopped building. So now we have some progress to show. Let's go. On puzzle map we had four different products and I will briefly cover each of them and then answer more detailed uh, when you ask me. <laughs> okay. So aggregator was like the main priority, priority because no matter what, people need aggregator on waves. Like even if there are no stable coins, nothing, people still need a place to trade with one click. Uh, we added some very crucial things to aggregator. We aggregated WX pools, which uh, made us the most profitable place to trade because of a huge liquidity aggregated. Also a very important update, uh, there was a uh, speed update. If you remember six months ago, there was a huge problem with aggregator speed. You probably had to wait like five seconds or something uh, while trading. You send a request and it takes five seconds to download. It was very bad and uh, now it works. Mm, it, uh, the request takes maximum one second. And right now in progress, there are aggregation of limit orders because we have limit orders in um, a puzzle. Not many use them, but they are. Also, there are limit orders on uh, waste exchange which are off-chain. So it's a very challenging task. It will not be implemented immediately, but there is a plan how to do it. And we are working on it. Also, uh, we are working to aggregate the stable pools on WX. Mega pools. Uh, that was the core feature of puzzle swap at the beginning. Unfortunately, not so many people use it as well. Uh, for myself, I explained that probably there are some issues on front end. For example, there is no correct a calculation of APY for liquidity provising. So many people are afraid to use this tool. Still, it's like one of the most capital efficient tools on waves right now. 
I'm 100% sure in it. And in the last few months, we extended the list of fee tokens. It means previously you needed to have USDN or Puzzle to launch a, to uh, launch a pool. Now you can also launch a pool without Puzzle, without XDN, um, with Waves or with USDT, which is very important if you, for, for different cases. For example, you can launch a pool Waves, staked Waves, and there will be no impermanent loss. Also, yesterday, uh, there was a new project launched on top of Puzzle. It's called Burn XTN. It's a community project, which I'm very proud of, because uh, half a year ago we released an article that we are ready to back um, community projects. It means we are ready to help them to list their token, uh, we can sponsor their pool, or even we can do a, a, small, a small grant for them, up to $20,000. Uh, uh, this project is supported by listing the token and providing the artifacts to create the pool. And it's very interesting to see how it will evolve because actually Burn XTN utilizes the core idea of puzzle solved mega pools. Um, learn more about it if you're interested. And the top priority for mega pools, and this is the task for the next month, is front end fixes. Uh, we have a backlist of at least 10 issues. What's wrong currently? with the website, with mega pools. We will fix it and do another attempt to market them, to market custom pools feature that you can launch your own pool. I think it's it with one click, okay, with four clicks, but in one minute. That's a killer feature, I suppose. So as soon as we fix the uh, front end, we will start to market it again. Puzzle market, there was a new DAO launched to verif verify the community NFTs. So now if you mint an NFT, you can apply for verification and DAO will vote on it, which works very good. Um, and there was a meta unification contest launched by Anya. And the idea is that you can draw anything and feel be rewarded for it. Anything means um, something related to waves and uh, uh, related to metaverses. I honestly believe that Puzzle Market is a very good product and right now it's already uh, ready to use by anyone. But we need more NFTs. We need more games or more artists. Uh, there are no spe specific ideas what we can do to attract more people, but I'm sure if we manage to do it somehow, there will be more volume and more everything. Uh, Technical-wise, everything is done. Puzzle End. Uh, Puzzle Land was launched half a year ago. I think it was pretty same time when I did my last AMA. <laughs> we launched four different markets. Uh, they are, not all of them are successful. For example, there is a isolated market for uh, WXG uh, tokens, for USDT, USDC, Bitcoin, and BNB, and Ethereum. And right now, it's not very used because WXG tokens are kind of almost deprecated, so no one understands what will be in the future. But three other pools, they work fine. There are real users. There is more than one, really, one million liquidity, TVL. I'm very proud of Puzzle Land. Also, it helps us to generate buyback fund and to buy some puzzles. And uh, yeah, currently we have a buyback volume of 2,000 2, puzzles per month. Right now, there is a Flash stuff in development. Flash, you know, like in a movie. There will be Flash loans on Puzzleland. Uh, we will launch them with some limits. For example, $10,000 or something, because Flash loan is actually a very serious tool. There were several uh, hacker attempts on other chains. Um, so we will be very, uh, how to say, we will not risk. We will not take a lot of risk with it. We will launch it step by step. Also, there will be a very interesting fe feature like a flash position. For example, you, you will be open. You will be able to open a, a short or long position with one click. Flash position. Uh, that's it regarding the products. Some words about marketing. Um, for the last half year, we were kind of silent because uh, things were very unclear on ways. Now we are ready to start our hype wave again. We launched different promos. Last month there was a buyback activity. Every day we were giving away five puzzles to a random trader. 
which was a lot of fun and I think we will do it more and in a bigger scale, you know, so it will be real fun. I think there will be even some jackpot or something, like a chance to win 100 puzzles, imagine that. It should boost volume. Right now there is a special promo called Puzzly April, uh, launched by Anya and our new rewards manager Ali. Uh, thank you guys. And very important for developers, there is a dev bounty on Gitcoin, which will last for one more, no one more month. Uh, you can build anything on Puzzle, anything. It can be a new decentralized application, it can be a tool, it can be a notifications bot, anything. And there will be a price of uh, 2000 USDT, for sure, it's like the minimum amount. Maybe it will be even more. Uh, this price will be distributed to the best works. Please, if you know something about programming, participate in this bounty built on Waves. And we are hiring the business developer because we want to move further. We want to move cross-chain, uh, etc. So we are watching for a business developer, for a cool guy who will help us to spread the word, make some collaborations, etc. Uh, very important. There was a silent period of six months so we didn't stop developing also we wanted to create something new something unique i proposed two new mechanics for DeFi. first one was stablecoin model called island the second one was a flat mega pool for stable for stables um, unfortunately none of these ideas got really like huge feedback uh, still i think they might be very important for puzzle because both of these ideas can bring more liquidity, which is very important, and also more volume. So it, it means more benefit for puzzle token, etc. Uh, still, there is not so much feedback yet, so maybe we will see how things evolve on waves and decide if we want to launch it or not. Uh, please, if you haven't read article about the things, uh, check it on our medium. And yeah, the last thing, um, which I'm again very proud of. Uh, there was a very, uh, how to say, unfortunate situation with Puzzle Token because it was very dependent on USDN, uh, which used to be stablecoin but uh, depact, and all the liquidity pools were somehow attached to USDN, which basically means if USDN falls, Puzzle Token falls as well, just because the, all the liquidity is concentrated in these pools. Um, so puzzle token experienced uh, a fall from 15 bucks to two bucks, which is awkward, of course. Uh, one month and then half ago, we started to think what to do with it. So uh, we tried to remove all the liquidity from puzzle USDN pools and move it to puzzle waves pool instead. Uh, because, okay, waves is volatile, waves token. Uh, is volatile, but at least it also has an upside, <laughs> not on the downside. So since that time, uh, liquidity didn't affect Puzzle Token, and we, sh we have seen a very good result because we activated a buyback uh, from Puzzle Land, and our token grew 80% in the last 30 days. It's still far away, far away from our ATH, for example, which was uh, 50 bucks. Now Puzzle Token costs. 4.3 bucks, so it's almost 10 times more to go to ATH. But with uh, this temp, there is a good chance we will see ATH back, which I'm very looking forward to, because I hold a lot of puzzles and all the project, uh, all, the, all the projects on puzzle are dependent on this token. So yeah, just wanted to share that uh, this probably is like the main KPI for the whole project. Uh, let's go to the questions. Um, it will be interesting to read your questions, discuss anything you want. It can be related to Puzzle, related to Pluto, related to any other projects on Waves, and uh, or it, it can be even a question about yourself, <laughs> share any news, etc. Let's get to the questions. Okay.
I love G Vlad. Thank you. I'm reading the comments on Twitter. First priority, you know. You can post your questions on YouTube chat or in Telegram chat. Okay, I see some questions. Nice. Thank you. Thank you everyone who watching who's watching because I know that currently in Europe, for example, it's like the beginning of the day, but I am in Australia, so it's almost 10 by my side. So thanks for watching so early. Live chat. Okay, let me start from the very beginning. Uh, poo -poo 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 -poo. Puzzle fam is the best. Yeah, we are the best community, at least in waves. I know it for sure, reading other projects' channels. <laughs> Puzzle to the moon. I know three devs who are in. I guess it's about a bounty. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I've seen some results already, but still there is a big space for uh, competition. So guys, join the dev bounty. Do you have plan to make puzzle accept fiat? Um, we do not work. We do not want to work with it directly because uh, it's different, difficult. We try to do it with Waves Dax when I was in Waves Dax project, and it's very difficult uh, to accept cash from legal perspective, from technical perspective, from everything. Uh, maybe we will work with some partner, uh, but it's an open question. Definitely not in the next two months. When we will see all fees from puzzle go to stakers. Thanks, Galka, from the for the question. Uh, actually, right now all the fees from puzzle swap mega pools go to stakers. In the future, some part of fees from puzzle land will go to puzzle stakers, which is crucial, of course, because it will boost staking API API like three times because puzzle land has much more fees right now uh, for this we need to probably grow puzzle land a bit because some of the funds are needed to make a reserve fund uh, currently all this asset they stay like in case of something goes wrong uh, for example uh, there is some bad debt which occurs on the platform these funds will be used to cover it in the future when there will be more fees uh, a bigger portion of it will go to stakers. There will be no special NFTs, it will go to stakers. Will Puzzle reach out to other exchanges? Thank you, team, for the question. Uh, yes, Puzzle will reach to other exchanges and extremely soon. I don't want to spoil it. Also, I don't want to say soon, actually, <laughs> because <laughs> we know how, how it ends up usually. <laughs> uh, but we are doing the real work to list puzzle on the other exchanges. Um, yeah, there is a chance it will happen early next month. So in two weeks. <laughs> okay, it's not kidding. We really have it in process. Um, Please do not spoil anything. Yes, Anya. <laughs> I try my best. Uh, this armor is just about like summing up like what happened and like the nearest updates. There are no spoilers in the summer. What the situation with Pluto? Is there a plan for moving forward? What's about Pluto future? Yeah, two questions about Pluto. That's cool. Uh, thank you for these questions. Uh, there was a very sad situation uh, with Pluto because like 95% uh, of the treasury. Treasury is the crucial part in Pluto protocol because Pluto token is backed by treasury. Uh, like as for six months ago, we had more than $1 million in uh, treasury. It was stored in the following assets, USDN, USDT on WX and USDC on WX. Very unfortunately, all all three of these assets depict right now on waves, heavily depict. Uh, fortunately, we managed to do some important moves when everything was not so bad. 
Uh, for example, we missed the USDN fall and like we held more than 1 million USDN and we never sold single USDN because community didn't want to. Uh, we did several votings. You can check it in uh, Pluto chat, by the way. And like everyone uh, in, in, the, in the chat was, we should wait, etc, uh, etc. Et it's okay, we wait. Um, but after that, now, there was a bad situation with USDT and USDC on the base exchange and we did another vote. Like, should we sell these tokens to Waves token because Waves is more predictable and there is no chance that Waves will be, uh, how to say, depacked because Waves is not a stable coin. So uh, we succeeded and uh, this voting passed actually two times. We did this voting two times and converted all of our USDT and USDC to Waves. It's very lucky because right now these assets fell to 20 cents. They used to be one dollar, now they're 20 cents. Luckily, uh, Pluto has now a solid treasury. We have 65,000 waves and 1.2 million XTN. So it's a good treasury, but to start Pluto again, like to accept new funds, uh, to start new onboardings, we need like to, to, to dust the dust to settle a bit settle down a bit um, because right now i'm not sure who will use waves unfortunately because uh, it's very shady right now we should wait or as i mean we, we should wait to accept new onboardings it's very important uh, so i've seen several options what we can do while we are waiting for example we can launch and invest DAO because uh, Pluto has some funds in Treasury, they can be used somehow, right? Uh, I propose to launch an invest DAO, which means that Pluto holders vote uh, which asset to purchase. It can be even a low liquid asset, for example, power token, which was just released, or I don't know, tsunami token or puzzle token, whatever. Um, we did a voting, uh, it was this week actually, and uh, people still voted to wait. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, it's not a problem. So we are waiting now, but there is a clear plan. As soon as things are getting clear, for example, there are new stable coins and they work. We can start accepting these stable coins. It's not an issue. With the same Pluto token, of course. So Pluto holders remain the same. Um, and this first option is the first option. And the second option is to launch something like InvestDAO. I'm a big fan of InvestDAO idea because it helps like to brainstorm, uh, to utilize the wisdom of the crowd concept, like together we can decide uh, which projects to invest to. We, we even can like uh, invest in the new project. We can incubate themselves because I have some ex experience. We have puzzle swap, which can list uh, this token. So yeah, it can be interesting. So these two options for Pluto: wait and launch uh, new onboarding with new stable coins, or launch something new, for example, invest DAO. It's all discussable in the chat. Oh, wow, so many questions. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone who joined. Self puzzle for 33. Uh, I will not sell puzzle for 33. Thank you. I have one puzzle, Jazz. Jazz, participate in the puzzle April, and you will have more. When puzzle will stake waves to waves fun in node? Um, Puzzle Land will stay at uh, the node, what was the name, an NBC fans node, because they uh, did a special script which distributes payouts to Puzzle Land. Uh, puzzle Swap can use another node, because Puzzle, node, uh, puzzle Swap doesn't take waves as for now. So we are open for discussions. What will Puzzle holders get? Mm everything <laughs> when puzzle liquidations for all and how it will work oh amazing question uh, right now uh, on puzzle land there is a white list of who can um, run liquidations it's it's a very serious question of course because uh, liquidators are a very important part of the system Right now, there are three addresses in the whitelist and all of them are different bots of the team. Actually, we are multiple people in the team and uh, three different people created three different bots. 
um, we assumed it's enough. Unfortunately, there was uh, there was one case when uh, of bad debt when none of the bots worked for different reasons. Um, and it makes me think that liquidations for everyone will be the next thing to develop after we complete flash stuff. So first flash loans, then uh, liquidations for everyone. There is a described model how it will work according to Dutch auction. It's a model that uh, helps liquidators to bid on uh, different liquidation patterns. For example, one bot can say, I will liquidate for 2% premium. Another one will say, I will liquidate for 1.5% premium. And whoever gives the best price uh, can liquidate. There is a tricky moment how to implement it so it will be fast, because we need liquidators to work far, fast, of course. Um, yes, but it's, it's achievable and I really want to do it. Real auction, like we are capitalists, right? <laughs> um, at the same time, there is something, why, why it's difficult? As well because we need to make sure that liquidate function works stable uh, there were some bugs with liquidation function uh, which led to a negative borrow balance for example some users have seen it that there was a negative borrow balance for uh, some users which is a bug of course uh, it's hard to use it somehow to steal money for example or something but still it it affects the protocol so we need to make at least an audit for liquidate function to be sure it works good. After that, we will open it. Uh, I, I can't give an ETA actually, but I think like uh, in June it's achievable. Okay. Why is good free puzzles? Yeah, very good question. Um, right now, we give away a lot of puzzles, no, I mean, not, not a lot of, but something a few hundred per month. Uh, Anya and Ali are in charge of it. Uh, we do different giveaways, we do promotions, etc. Uh, why it's important? Because there was some period of silence when everyone forgot about everything on waves. Uh, probably the only thing that people didn't forget about is virus and uh, XTN. <laughs> Uh, we need to grab somehow their attention. So we tried, for example, to launch a competition, uh, trade and puzzle, get five puzzles for it. Sounds good, right? Uh, we wanted more people to go trade and puzzle instead of trading on uh, base exchange. Um, it's affordable because at the same time we are doing a buyback of thousands of puzzles per month, thanks to Puzzle Land. So we buy back a few thousands of puzzles and create a buy pressure. At the same time, I use my own puzzles. Pay attention, it's my own puzzles that I bought at, uh, at the very first day. Uh, these puzzles are sent to Anya and <laughs> she uses them to promote the project somehow. Uh, yeah. So it's affordable and I think it's very important right now to bring some, attack, some attention back to puzzle. A good example is, for example, Tsunami, when they launched the testnet, uh, Tsunami Exchange. Um, uh, they promised a giveaway to every testnet participant and it worked there was more than 3000 participants on testnet so people are still here for for free money and it's important to grab their attention I understand but when there aren't more puzzle in circulation what's the plan? Sorry, uh, yeah, I understand, but when there aren't more puzzles in circulation, what's the plan? That's the goal. <laughs> Our goal is to buy back all puzzles available. <laughs> I mean, right now there are something like 250,000 puzzles available. Uh, we bought 2,000 last month, which is cool. We bought 1% of the circulation. Uh, with this, in 10 years, we will be able to buy back all puzzles. What does it mean? That there are like very few puzzles available in the market, few puzzles uh, hold by the old owners, OGs, and these OGs, they can stake these puzzles. And the less puzzles are there, the more is taking APY, because Reserve Fund doesn't stake its puzzles. So if you, ha if you have puzzles, you stake them, 
you earn fees, and you are interested to have less puzzles in circulation. Also, if there are less puzzles in circulation, you can sell it for more expensive. I think that's obvious. It's how any buyback works. It was similar in Waves DAX, for example, until uh, there wasn't too much egg printed by farming. And there is no farming for puzzles. <laughs> When puzzles own blockchain, what if Waves Exchange die? I don't think that Waves blockchain will die um, because Waves blockchain is much more than just USDN, than wireless, than anything. Moreover, as Sasha says, he doesn't own Waves tokens anymore, which means that basically uh, Waves tokens distribution is very fair. There are no whales, etc. Uh, and it's bullish actually. It's bullish, it means that no one can kill this blockchain right now. No one can go and sell all the waves to the market and dump the price and kill the blockchain. It's not possible now. Uh, we're kind of at the bottom right now. Um, it's possible that, I mean, I'm not going to sell that waves exchange will die. I mean, waves exchange is an exchange thing. Um, it's, it's possible, of course. Anything is possible. Any project, any project can die. Uh, not puzzle, but any. <laughs> Uh, it's possible that virus, neutrino, waves exchange, they all disappear. But still, there will be more projects like Power, which appeared recently, Staked Waves, which appeared recently, etc., etc. Uh, waves Keeper. Uh, yeah. Also, I do my best to attract more people to Waves itself, for example, Midus guys, etc. Clef. Uh, there will be new projects because uh, Waves is a great technology. Moreover, it has a lot of liquidity uh, and a lot of people who don't know where to bring their liquidity after virus disappeared, virus. So people need fresh blood. When fresh blood arrives, there will be more hype on waves, etc. And I think it will happen, not tomorrow, but in summer. Vova is a nice guy, thank you. When USDP, uh, USDP, is like USD puzzle, I guess, right? Um, I described something that could be USDP as island stablecoin. Uh, it got some feedback, and uh, I think that feedback is reasonable. Um, you can check it on my Twitter. Uh, I don't think it's good to call a stablecoin with USDC prefix. Um, I saw how it happened to USDN, for example, that everyone wanted to delist Waves token from different centralized exchanges. Because like USDN should be a stable coin, but it's depict. We will delist waves. Uh, also, there are a lot of legal risks if you call a token USD. So I want to launch an island stable coin, which is stable coin, but is not USD. You know? uh, similar to DAI, actually. DAI is not called is USD prefix. Still, it's a stable coin. Yeah, it's off topic. Uh, so yeah, uh, I described an idea for stable coin. Uh, but not sure if we need to launch it and when I need to launch it. When puzzle main landing page? There will be a main landing page actually. I even purchased the puzzle.network domain and we have a um, bootstrapped landing page. I don't know why we still didn't uh, launch it. By the way, there is good news. Uh, we are now finalizing our white paper. There finally will be a white paper for puzzle swap. Because previously we only had uh, medium articles, which is not that serious. Now when we are working on listing on new exchanges, of course we need uh, things like white paper, landing page, etc. So yeah, white paper will be finished like in, uh, we have almost final version already and uh, proofreading it now. Yeah, yeah, white paper. I forgot about it. Sorry, it's it, it was one of the news. We will have white paper. There, there will be nothing new. Uh, but it will be a good sum up of what we achieved in puzzle swap and good for listings. Yeah, Daniel is a quack guy. Okay, guys, maybe more questions. Uh, you can ask anything about waves, for example, or about any other projects. I don't know, staked waves, NSBT. What is the plans on Puzzle Bounty program? Uh, plan is to attract more developers. These are hopes. 
uh, it will last for 25 more days probably in 10 days or something I will do a workshop maybe if there will be participants I can do a workshop uh, yeah and the plan is to attract as many projects as possible to support them somehow and this will help puzzle a lot because we need more more utilities for puzzle how would you transition expansion to other chains look um, there are some plans for other chains um, but, as I promised, no spoilers. Do you have plans to add puzzle to the other blockchains? <laughs> yes, there are. There are. Very nice question from Isel. Please answer. Uh, Isel, could you send your question once again, please? I don't see it. When did you last talk with Sasha? What did he say? Uh, today, actually. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we are in different countries, but we chat a lot um, about my different ideas, for example, about this latest uh, stable pool proposal, etc. Last discussion was about Burn XTN project. He was interested in this Burn XTN idea, so I described it. When puzzle closes, uh, sorry, I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> Not closes, but closes. Okay, let's let's call it hoodies. When puzzle hoodies, uh, puzzle hoodies are will be sent to golden dragon winners, I guess. Um, it takes some time because these are independent people who printed these hoodies, um, but it was promised to be sent in uh, summer. Anya, please. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Will DAO Dragons get more power? DAO Dragons will get more power on uh, puzzle market. For example, there will be voting to uh, cancel verification. Cancel. Um, yep. There are no plans to extend their functionality, so probably they will, they will stay only inside of the puzzle market. But maybe they will, they will be also included in uh, alter staging or something. But like, in, in the far, far future. For now, their utility is puzzle market. But it will be enough if puzzle market grows. Will puzzle launch a token meme, which is fully supported by the Waves team? It's a good idea. <laughs> I think we already have a meme token on puzzle called uh, Vlad token. <laughs> it was a token we used to, for testing, uh, for example, to launch custom tools, etc. And uh, somehow it arrived to production version. And right now you can find the Vlad token. But it's not listed, you cannot trade it. Uh, but it looks like a good candidate for meme token. Well, at the end of the day, XTN is already a meme token, right? This puzzle project is really interesting. Thank you. And a really old one, by the way. But we, are, we try not to get to adults you know we are young still maybe we can use DAO dragons to add tokens and puzzle and yeah it's a good idea in the future on puzzle and there will be permissionless creation for markets um, right now the team only can create markets so we created four in the future is that you will be able to create custom markets same as you can do with uh, liquidity pools and puzzle swap there will be some governance mechanics for it maybe it will be uh, dragons or anyone else. Oh, Alexandra, hello. Thanks for arriving. I know you had a call. We love you too. Okay. Share with us a layman's terms about mega pools for stable coins. What's layman's terms? <laughs> Let's educate together. To describe a complex of technical statement. Ah, okay, okay. Like describe it simply. The idea of a mega stable pool is that you can exchange any token to any other one to one. Like you have USDT, one USDT, you can exchange it to one USDC. 
one to one always. Uh, it's very difficult to achieve. Usually there is some kind of curve, you know. For example, uh, one USDT costs 1.005 USDC or something. Our goal is to create like a very flat pool, like one on one. And moreover, this pool will support as many stable coins as there will be. Uh, it's very important because Pepe team is now bridging assets to Waves chain in a very uh, interesting manner. The, for example, for example, there will be three different USDTs. USDT on Ethereum chain, USDT on BNB chain, and USDT on uh, Polygon chain. So there will be three USDTs, right? Uh, for example, you have USDT on Polygon, but somehow need USDT on Waves. Then you send USDT to Waves with Puzzle Bridge. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, there is Pepe Bridge, and then exchange this uh, received USDT on any other stablecoin you need. And it's very important because there will be more than 10 different stablecoins and there can't be enough stable pools for them. So in this case, this mega pool for stable coins will be very useful. Probably we should wait until all these assets are breached. Uh, actually, I launched the demo, I launched the stable coin pool with, with the new USDT and USDC, um, but the article got almost none feedback, so I built a demo, but we didn't like, for example, aggregate it yet or, or anything. So yeah, this is the idea. First, allow one-to-one -one exchange. Second, uh, create a mega pool for more than 10 stable coins. Thanks for asking. Okay, guys, this is probably your last chance uh, to send a question and let's make it more fun. Uh, I will send a reward from my own to the most interesting question that I haven't answered yet. The reward will be 10 puzzles, okay? So uh, send your question. I will ask multiple questions, I will answer mul multiple questions, but the one I like the most will receive 10 puzzles. Sounds fair. Also guys, today I'm drinking not tea, but wine. Because I was worried about our live stream, you know. <laughs> long time, long time, no AMAs, we should do it more often. Yeah, because Sasha does it every week. I should do it more often <laughs> to be like a boss, you know. Can you explain why teacher Kuak is not bot? Uh, teacher Kuak messaged me in DM two days ago. Uh, we talked a bit. I understood totally his concerns about Waves team, uh, especially about DAX. And I kind of am sorry for his experience. Um, and we finished uh, the way he provided liquidity to puzzles for Megapool. So now I think teacher Kuak is a good guy. And Boris, vodka plus wine. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Vodka is over, <laughs> so now going for a wine. Uh, when puzzle aggregator aggregates matcher order book in the update after the next one, next thing we aggregate will be limit order book. Oh, sorry, puzzle order book because there are limit orders in puzzle that will be aggregated. And that's a nice feature, by the way, because puzzle limit orders have 0% zero fee, zero, zero. <laughs> uh, it's like OTC deals on uh, one inch, for example. And if this OTC deals will be aggregated, I think this might be very important for whales. And if whales provide more liquidity to this uh, limit orders, it means there will be less slippage for other traders if these limit orders are aggregated. After that, we will also aggregate limit orders on base exchange. Puzzle swap support VX pools. Yes, it supports. Vova next, see off waves. There is a very interesting story. I tweeted like this on the 1st of April, uh, Fool's Day. I tweeted the time, the new CEO of waves. And many, many people thought it's a serious talk. 
uh, for example, the journalist for, from uh, the Philama News, uh, he reached me in personal messages and was asking, like, uh, what the fuck, <laughs> why Sasha left ways, you know? <laughs> After that, I'm not taking this article seriously, really. <laughs> More details about cooperation between Pepe and Puzzle. Mm, it's, we, we don't really have a, a cooperation, uh, but they provide some tokens. Uh, I mean, uh, gateway tokens and staked waves. And the Puzzle Swap supports them. We have pools with these tokens uh, on Puzzle Swap, we list them on Puzzle Land, etc. It's very important because it looks like these gateways will be the main one for the basic system in the nearest future do you want it or not <laughs> so yeah there there, there is uh, of course we support the stable coins and stake the waves this puzzle token being a leading token in the future what can you say about this yes we are working on it mm, puzzle ecosystem is growing so is the token. The more utility we have for puzzle network, the more expensive is token, etc. Okay, not expensive, but more valuable. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so many questions, thank you. Your favorite thing about Australia? Thank you, Katya. My favorite thing about Australia is the time zone. <laughs> Right now I, I have uh, 10, I, it's 10 p.m. here. So it's a very interesting feeling when I wake up, literally everyone sleeps. Um, when I want to go sleep, everyone is still awake and I need to work. It's difficult actually, but it's funny. When Clef I low on Puzzle. Clef project is doing well. Uh, they will release a new feature next month, next week, next week. As soon as possible. Um, yeah, the feature will be about likes for songs and maybe there it will create more stimulation for people to use the NFT songs. Uh, there are no plans for token yet, because first uh, there must be more users who use NFTs themselves. Hello Vova. Hello Sasha. Are you planning to create a pool for basket tokens to waves? Oh wow, good idea. Oh, this one transaction. Oh man, that's a good idea actually. <laughs> Not many will understand it, but um, latest feature on Neutrino means that um, to arbitrage USDN price, or sorry, XTN price, you need to swap three different tokens. VRS, WX, and Waves. And it's pretty challenging thing to do every day, you know. <laughs> So for many people, a mega pool with all these tokens will be needed. Still, there is an issue. There are two issues. First one, uh, eventually they will add some new tokens to the basket and we will need to launch the new pool. It's difficult. And the second one, it's, it will be tricky to attract liquidity to this pool. And if we don't attract liquidity, it will be not profitable for arbitrageurs. So the idea is, how to say, elegant, but it's... Mm, it's probably not so sustainable okay guys I need to choose the winner right the winner of 10 puzzles how would you describe puzzle as a brand to a newbie uh, puzzle is solving DeFi puzzles uh, means uh, we built simple tools on top of very difficult DeFi sector uh, you can do anything in DeFi using Puzzle. That's like the mission of this project. What are you doing in Australia? I'm living here <laughs> because uh, I, mo I moved from Russia. I don't know. A year and a half ago, I think. Uh, first, I lived in Dubai. But now there are too many people, uh, especially Russian dirty speculators in Dubai moved because of a uh, political situation in Russia so I decided to leave Dubai and to, to travel across the world uh, already lived in Bali in uh, Korea and now in Australia 
the next thing is Europe probably. When puzzle to ATH? I think it's a good question to sum up. Oh no, there are more questions, wow. So many questions, but okay, we've, uh, this will be the last question. When puzzle to ATH? Um, look, puzzle grew 80% last month, which is good, but we don't know what will be the next, uh, how to say, speed of growth. Mm, at some point, definitely, there will be some uh, sellings, because now people sell puzzles, but not that much, because it's obviously cheap. Uh, I expect that if puzzle reaches, let's say, 15 bucks, there will be more sellers, because many, many people bought at 10 bucks, etc. So it will be difficult, but of course the goal is to buy back all the available puzzles and uh, to reach ATH again. Okay, yes, I'm from Bali. Bali is cool, Bali is cool. Uh, I love that. Yeah, so I spent there like two, two, two months in different areas of Bali. I loved it. Good question about Puzzle Land. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I told it it was the last question, but looks like it's not. Puzzle Land. Uh, it was a, a very ambitious idea, which even partially developed it. At least it's uh, designed already. The idea was that every custom pool is a piece of a global map, which sounds very good because it's kind of metaverse for liquidity pools. Wow, metaverse for liquidity pools. Unfortunately, liquidity pools feature didn't get that, mu that much traction because, I mean, to launch a puzzle world, we need, uh, I don't know, at least 200 lands to be sold. Okay, not, not to be rented, anyway which means we need to have at least 200 liquidity pools. And of course, not every liquidity pools owner uh, will want to be listed. So I think there will be at least, we need to have at least 1,000 liquidity pools to launch Puzzle World. That would make sense. Right now, we are far away from this number. So there are no uh, specific plans to launch Puzzle World, unfortunately, because I love this idea a lot. It was a gamification of DeFi. Uh, which I love very much. I mean, the whole DAX thing at the beginning was gamification of DeFi, right? You can uh, buy different assets. I mean, DAX, you can somehow breed them and stake them. So that's DeFi. <laughs> uh, I love gamification of DeFi. So hopefully someday Puzzle World will be implemented. Oh, guys, let's create more custom pools then. Yay! What's your favorite thing of puzzle? What's your favorite community member? So my favorite community member is definitely not Quack Quack. Um, my favorite community member, I don't know, Joachim. I love Joachim and his sense of humor. He's Norwegian, by the way. This guy with a duck, with a golden duck on the avatar picture. The author of FOMO Farms. Uh, so many questions. Will Puzzle ever release a play-to-earn game like the one we've played on Waves Dax? Uh, uh, look, uh, I didn't really like play-to-earn stuff on Waves Dax uh, because I think it's unsustainable. The thing I loved about Waves Dax and the thing I built is a breeding game, um, farming game. This was good and it was very sustainable. Uh, Dark Wars was not that sustainable because uh, we need to introduce new tokens, uh, farm tokens. It, it, it was hard. Uh, I dream to launch an NFT game again one day. I even have some ideas and if we decide to launch it in the short term, it will be launched backed by Puzzle. So it will not be an independent project. We need to support Puzzle. Uh, so if we decide to launch something, it will be backed by Puzzle. Best community member Alexandra. Yes, I love Alexandra so much. And I, I'm really happy that Alexandra uh, found herself as a Tsunami community lead. It's a very good step for her. I remember Alexandra was one of the first DAX uh, community members. And it's excellent uh, what a journey she had. She's like a team member. Yeah, 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 she is. 
<laughs> yes, favorite thing of puzzle. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing of puzzle is uh, when some new people try puzzle, like newbies to DeFi. There, I know some people who, for whom puzzle is like the first experience in DeFi or in Web3. Uh, I love when they say something, wow, it's so simple. I didn't know it that simple. I mean, these all things like Bitcoin, uh, ERC20, etc. All this world uh, sounds so difficult, but in reality, it's very easy if you uh, use DeFi on puzzle. That's my favorite one, yeah. Uh, Lil Bubble dropped a new video. Did you watch it? Yep, I, I love Lil Bubble. Actually, when we were promoting um, Waves Dux, I even tried to reach him to make a song about Waves Dux. I mean, he could do some quacks <laughs> in his lyrics. I mean, Waves Dux to the quack quack. <laughs> He's a genius. He will, he will think something. <laughs> okay, so let me conclude. I need to find the best question. I need... Yeah, why puzzle name itself puzzle? Because puzzle solves the five puzzles. Uh, okay, best question, best question. I don't know. Let it be uh, Boris with the question of uh, pool for basket tokens. Yep, it's a, it's a very smart idea. I didn't even think about it. Still, to attract this and neutrino arbitrageurs is one of our main goals in terms of internal promotion, internal inside of the waves. Uh, there is a huge volume every day when people arbitrage neutrino, and it will be good if they go through a uh, puzzle. But I think better to use puzzle aggregator. Okay, so Boris takes 10 puzzles. Uh, for everyone else, you can participate in Puzzly April contests and win some puzzles as well. Uh, okay, to sum up, I was very proud to present puzzle map. Um, this map we drew uh, to show all the things we achieved so far and to show the progress for the last few months. I announced some of our current developments. Uh, these are uh, flash stuff on Puzzle Land. And these are uh, updates for puzzle swap aggregator, which includes the limit orders and the stable pools on WX. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, and the very crucial thing you didn't ask about it, so I forgot is uh, mega pools update, because mega pools the killer feature of puzzle. Uh, we need to fix visual stuff, like so you will be able to see. This is a mega pool. These are fees. This is this is how much VDC providers earn. This is how much uh, stakers earn. This is how much pool owner earns because it's actually very profitable to launch your own custom pool. Not so many people do it. Uh, these three things: puzzle land, flash loans, limit orders on puzzle aggregator, and puzzle mega pools. Uh, but also we have some global plans, some global expansion, and I didn't talk about it yet because we agreed with Anya there will be no spoilers. But you will see everything by yourself. Thank you, guys. It was a great pleasure. Uh, thank you for your questions. Thanks for joining uh, this live session so early. Uh, spread the word about puzzle and let's grow it together. Thank you. See you.